The third and final skill that you'll get for doing the maneuver test is either going to be the parallel park on driver's side or passenger's side, or it might be the alley dock. Speaking specifically about the parallel park, the examiner is going to invite you to drive around the box and set yourself up if that's what you get. Pulling up beside the box, start with the rear of your trailer next to the entry cone or the first or front cone of the box that you're backing into. At this time, turn the wheel one turn away from your box. As you start reversing, watch for the moment when the rear of the trailer and the exit cone or the back cone of the box meet in the mirror. At this time, turn the wheel all the way toward the box and bring the tractor around to line back up with the trailer. At this time, you should be aimed in the back corner of the box and you should be aiming to cross into the box with your trailer wheels a little over halfway down the box. Once the trailer wheels start entering the box, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna turn the wheel all the way toward the box, which is gonna curl the trailer into the box and also bring your drive wheels in too. As your drive wheels start to approach the side wall of the box, what you're gonna do is now turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, which will curl the steer wheels and the front bumper of the tractor into the box. To square yourself up, you may need to do a pull up, check your mirrors on both sides, and use a get out to check your final position. A couple of common mistakes that a student will make is that they may not reverse the trailer deep enough into the box. Or what can happen as well is they reverse into the box, but they don't bring the tractor around enough, so that pushes the trailer into and then back out of the box. If you're very, very close to the trailer being inside the box, you may be able to pull the tractor up at a diagonal into the front corner of the box, which will hopefully pull the trailer over enough. However, instead of pulling it into the box, what you're probably better off doing is actually pulling forward, backing back out of the box, and then backing the trailer deeper into the box. Rinsing and repeating the second half of the maneuver by steering your steering wheel toward the box to get your drive wheels in, and then away from the box to get your steer wheels in. The other common problem can be that your drive wheels end up sticking out over the edge of the box that you need to back into. Again, similar situation, bring your steer wheels back out of the box, push the drive wheels in back deeper into the box, and then curl your steer wheels back into the box a second time. One of the common challenges with the parallel park is that you need to be mindful of a lot of your mirrors. You're gonna be watching your convex mirror to watch your drive wheels against the side wall of cones to make sure that they don't hit. You're also gonna use your fender mirrors because as you swing your steer wheels into the box, make sure that you do not hit the front cones with your steer wheels or the fender. Remember, you must be good at both sides. You must be able to do this on either side. And if you're good with one side but struggling with the other, consider what visual reference points you might be missing out on. Take note of what these reference points might be and keep an eye out for them to make sure you're actually looking for something and not just blindly reversing and hoping that it goes in.